Welcome back to Set Like Off-Road School and today we want to work about the three most common mistakes we see new riders make and we're also going to give you some drills on how to fix them. So let's get right into it. Number one mistake that we see pretty much of most riders that come through the school is being in the wrong position standing up, right? So what we see a lot is riders trying to stand up but not really fully committing. So they're sitting down and then when they're getting up they just sort of like hover over the bike the knees forward because they're trying to squeeze the bike with their knees right everybody heard that old saying squeeze the bike with your knees that doesn't really apply that much anymore right so riders find themselves in this position and you can already see just from the side view it's not a great position to handle a bike so what happens is you're stuck here and you can see your weight is sort of like poorly distributed you're really close to the bars your elbows are tucked in your, your uh, butt's tucked in and the bike will become really nervous. Where you want to be instead is balls of your feet. We say that all the time, that's where you want to be. So balls of your feet, you turn your feet in, and now you have full contact with the bike here. So you're able to squeeze the bike, you can control the bike, and then you're able to get into uh, what we call the attack position, right? From here, you drop your heels, that brings your hips back, and you keep your chest forward. And right away in this view right now, you can see how much more leverage you have on the bike. The bike's gonna be a lot more stable. It's a lot easier for me now to look ahead to where I wanna go. My um, elbows are up, so I'm able to work with the bike. And from here, I have perfect control of the bike and it will make it really easy to ride more technical terrain. So now in this clip, we can see hips forward, knees forward, a really poor position of standing up, makes it really hard to control the bike. You have a lot of pull on your forearms, so it becomes really hard to, to sort of like control the bike, uh, control the throttle, control the clutch. When you're coming downhill, there's a lot of weight on the front end. So you want to be in this position, right? Like your heels are low, hips are further back, the chest is open, and you can see right away his arms are a lot more relaxed. It's a lot easier for him to transfer the weight on the bike. Coming down the hill, also a lot more control. Mistake number two, and that's what we see a lot, especially when it comes to turning, got Edgar here to give me some help demonstrating this, is the position when you're trying to turn the bike. And we'll have Edgar in the wrong position right now, sitting too far back on the bike, arms all the way stretched out. So now, if you're trying to move the front end of the bike, you just, you're not able to react to the bike. The front end's really, really light. So it's always just gonna keep on pushing through the turn. The bike's not gonna turn on the spot. Make sure that you move yourself to the front of the bike, where Edgar is now, you can see automatically now his elbows are at 90 degrees. Transfers the weight to the front of the bike. So now you have some traction in the front. It's gonna be much, much easier to turn the bike. You're gonna have a lot more grip. Now, if you turn the bars, you're able to really react with your upper body. You can see his chest is open. So the logo on his chest is actually pointing forward, not down on the bike. So your chest a little bit more upright, Low was pointing forward, elbows at 90 degrees. Now from there, you're able to look ahead, have the bike in a good spot, and really control your turns. If you like this type of content, click right here, subscribe to the channel, leave us a like. And if you're looking for a good deal on new FXR gear, check the link below. We have a great discount code from our partners there. Get yourself some fresh looking gear. So now we wanna look at that sitting position right here. This is a prime example. We see this a lot way too far back on the bike, arms are all the way stretched out, and then you're trying to make this uphill here, and it's just really hard to find traction, the bike riding away from you, pulling a little bit of a wheelie, and just not a great position to turn the bike. So now we want to look at what you're supposed to be doing, and that is getting your weight towards the front of the bike. Right away you can see the bike is a lot more stable, he can use his upper body right there, and you see the bike turns in, you find a little bit of traction, the bike's a lot more stable, it's not pulling a uh, wheelie right away, and he can ride the bike up 90 degrees in his elbows, so the bike's not riding away from him. Mistake number three that we see a lot is people sitting down and opening up their legs. So you're riding a tricky section, a tighter trail, you have to put one, sometimes both feet down to support yourself a little bit. Make sure that your legs are still relatively close to your bike. What we see is people put their leg out way over here, and then you have this gap between your leg and the bike and the bike will start to ride away from you, right? You get on the gas, you start to accelerate, the bike moves forward while your foot is stuck. Now it pulls you towards the back of the bike 
and then just like the seating position, now your arms are all the way stretched out, you're maxed out on your fingers, on your wrist, you know, it's hard for you to control the throttle from here, and the bike just then, especially if it's slightly uphill, starts to wheelie and just get away from you. So if you do find yourself in that position where you put your foot down, make sure that you bring your foot forward, so you step forward, and you still keep contact with the shroud, so you're close to your bike. Now, when the bike starts moving, you can see you're starting to ride into your leg, the bike builds some momentum. At that point, you can move your leg up, bring it back on the foot peg, and have full control again, right? The longer your feet are off the pegs, the less control you have. So by stepping in front of the bike, and sort of like riding towards your foot, towards your leg, in that same movement, you can bring your foot up, have it back on the foot peg, and have full control of the bike. So this is one section on our trails where we see this mistake a lot. And you will see here, Edgar's coming in, his foot is out way too far, drags his leg behind. And then it's just really hard for him to stay in that position to where he can control the bike and get his weight forward. Now we want to look at what you're supposed to be doing. Edgar's going to come in and then you step forward. You can see his leg is forward. He's gripping the bike with his thighs. And his whole position on the bike, so the centered middle of the seat, chest is forward, his legs are nice and tight. And then you can see he gets a straight line here. If you look at the line before, through the bumps here, the bike's just getting really nervous. Now he's gripping the bike, gets a straight line up the hill, builds some momentum and makes it really easy for himself. This is it for today's enduro riding tip. Work on some of these drills. If you find yourself uh, having these issues, if you look at some of your riding pictures and you see that you're in that hovering position, this is how you fix it, right? The best way for you to learn it is just to go out, ride some very easy trails, easy terrain, and work on these fundamentals. It will make your life so much easier. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll be back next week with another riding tip.